this Tiff Gallop e-bike so much. It looks like it was designed by the Porsche team. It feels and rides amazing. Just look at this masterpiece. But this bike has many downsides. The first one is the assembly. It was a complete nightmare. It took hours just to put together. And the seat was literally the hardest. They welded it horribly. It couldn't even fit, so I had to cut it. This bike rides amazing, just like a Porsche bike. But when I'm riding it, it feels like it's falling apart. But the biggest downside yet is the price. It costs three and a half thousand dollars. That is a fortune for a bike that has a battery and mortar. But I found better options than this e-bike. Yes, my new e-bike is in that truck. This is my new e-bike right here. I've been waiting for it for almost a month. I spent $3,200 on this bike. It better be good, otherwise it's going in the return pile. Oh my god, I get to this e-bike! My first impressions on this bike is good. It's packaged very nicely. It has nice and fat tires, but the tread is very thin, so that has me worried. Ooh, what could these two big boxes be? This ain't looking good. Screws at the bottom of the box. My hopes that I keep this bike are very high. So far, everything looks good. Now let's get to depackaging. Well, the two mud flops look pretty good. Wow, this is the seat I like. It's a big boy seat and it's really comfy. Wow, this bike is just as I imagined. A nice silver blue. Hopefully it goes as fast as advertised. Wow, Thomas, can I ride it too? Sure, if you have all your gear on. I put my gear on so fast, faster than Sonic can run a mile. Okay then, you can ride it. Wow, this looks like a futuristic setup. Am I even gonna be able to reach these handlebars? Yup, this is definitely a light. The charger looks like it's a good charger, but the light came broken right out of the box. See, the lens comes off. It looks like an easy fix, but in order to put this lens back in, I have to take apart the whole entire light. This electric bike comes with a tool set, and it also comes with this screwdriver. I saw one at the 99 cent store, 10 screwdrivers for a dollar. So hopefully this bike is nothing like this screwdriver. I'm putting on the casing, and then I'm screwing it in. Put one screw there, but not fully. And then put another one here, but not fully. This setup looks mean. It has a killer throttle, an M5 screen. This looks like it's a speed controller, a horn, a light, and it even has two keys that look like real car keys. Thomas, your wheel was very weird. I think there's something very wrong with your bike. What do you think it is? Maybe the wheel's upside down? No way it's upside down. Let me check. Oh my god, the wheel was upside down. Let me fix it. Is it good now? Good. Okay. It looks like a regular steering wheel. In order to stop it from moving like this, we have to tighten this. but everything is coming along pretty good. All I have left to do is put on the seat and put on the pedals. These pedals are screwing on really easily. These might be the easiest pedals to screw on I ever screwed on. You can't really see it good on video, but it's flashing red and blue, and I think they might have sent me the police edition. Now I'm adding the finishing touches like the seat, the light, and the mud flaps, and then I'm gonna let you guys know this bike is worth three and a half thousand dollars. I had really high hopes for this bike, but the welder that did these weldings really sucked. He welded the bike together so the seat couldn't go fully in. I've been going on 30 minutes to fix this bike. This factory should be paying me to fix it. This is literally ridiculous. How is someone supposed to spend 30 minutes trying to repair a bike that should have been already fixed? hard to 
clean up the welds inside, so I had to cut the seat. Shame on you, Chinese Bike Factory. Shame on you. This is a seat from another bike, and it goes in way too easy. You can see. This could be a problem in the future if I want to find a different seat for this bike. So that is a big minus for this bike. Finally, I got the seat on. It's way too high, but it's enough for my first test drive. So far, the bike is pretty good. It goes 28 miles per hour on a flat surface. And yesterday, I went with this bike to the park, and it still had a full charge when we came back. some Chinese garbage. The chain fell off at least 20 times and I found the exact issue that was causing it. Back hub is way wider than a regular mountain bike hub. The regular mountain bike hub is way thinner and in the front they use just a regular mountain bike crank. If they use a special crank that extended at least three to four inches then the chain would never fall off. Oh my god Chinese designers now the big question that is in your guys' head, am I keeping this bike or am I returning it? I am 100% returning it. This is just a big pile of garbage. I was hoping to have this bike for two to three years before it needed repairs, but it had problems right out of the box on day one. And usually Walmart bikes last two to three years before they need repairs. My final thoughts on this bike are, would I buy it again for three and a half thousand dollars? Absolutely not. If it was maybe seven, eight hundred dollars, definitely, one hundred percent would buy it. Not a penny more. I'm gonna beat up this bike for another two weeks, and then it's gonna go in that box to the UPS store, and then it's gonna go back to Amazon. And I already started ordering parts for my new e-bike build. Stay tuned for the best e-bike build in the world. Oh my God! So why? Oh my god, the whole wheel is twisted! 